unpack this further, Tabile Nkunjana from the National Agriculture Marketing Council joins us via Zoom. Tabile, thank you so much for speaking to us on Newsnight this evening. Perhaps we could start, if you could tell us what we've seen in terms of white maize prices over the last six weeks and how that compares to record high prices in the last 15 years or so. Okay, good evening to you uh, and, the, and the viewers. Um, so, yeah, uh, you are mentioning uh, uh, reality that, you know, for the past few weeks, we have been seeing relatively an increase in prices in general, especially those that are white maize. And this is mainly because we have an issue um, that was the El Nino, which has sort of forced a lot of our, you know, build crops to kind of uh, wilt and not necessarily create a, a develop to the yields that we anticipated uh, towards the end of the year, given that we were experiencing quite some good yields. So since, sorry, good rains. Then since then, as of late January this year, in 2014 and early February, we have seen quite a number of heat waves. And those heat waves, they have had quite a significant impact on South Africa's maize production. And of course, the countries that you mentioned, uh, your Malawi, Zambians, and Zimbabwe, which eventually uh, sort of uh, declared the issue as a state, uh, uh, sort of an emergency or a disaster because of that. So as a result, we are having quite a demand for white maize specifically. This is not something that you're going to see in South Africa alone. It's also going to be something that mm -hmm. the Southern Africa region is going to be experiencing. In fact, we are already seeing the numbers going up as we normally see around this time. 